Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to configure the WAN failover from the wired WAN to the cell. The first thing to do, of course, is make sure that your cellular connection is working. So go to mobile, put your APN in there, uh, configure all of that, save and apply, and then make sure that your router connects to the internet. So if we go to the status page, an overview, we can see that the cellular connection is up and we've got an IP address back from the mobile network. We can visit our web page, show my IP, and there's our IP address of our 3G connection. Okay, so for the wired WAN connection, very simple, network, wired WAN. We're going to leave this pretty much as the uh, default settings, so it's DHCP, so it's going to request an IP address from the other router. And the important thing to remember is that the router that you're connecting to has a different uh, IP range. So this router is 192.168.8.1, and the one we're going to connect to is 192.168.2. So a different subnet for the router you're connecting to. So at this stage, all you need to do is get an Ethernet cable, plug it into the WAN port uh, of your H685 or H820, and plug it into the LAN port of your uh, other router. And you can see here, it's already connected. If we go to status and network, and we go to WAN, we can see there, it's now connected on the WAN. It's received an IP address, and there's its default gateway. There's its IP address. And we can now connect to the other router And you can see 192.168.2.1 and we connected so that connection now if we refresh this page is going to use the ip address from the other router so once you do that it automatically uses the wan port as the primary um, what you can then do is set up your failover sequence So if you go to services, failover, enable failover, the primary configuration is wired WAN, your secondary configuration is cell mobile, and your third configuration is none. Now, what we're going to need to do is, this is going to fail over on the fact that it's got an internet connection rather than it can see the other router. So we need to put an IP address in there that relates to something it can ping on the internet. Uh, we're gonna go for two and 30 seconds between pings. So after a minute uh, of no longer being able to re reach these IP addresses, it will switch over to the mobile. And that's it, so that's configured. So it will connect using the wired WAN. If it can no longer connect to those IP addresses, it will fail over and switch back to the mobile network. Save and apply. And that's it, you've now configured your failover. I uh, hope that helps, thanks.